Well, that brings us up to the payment formulas, and this is you know pretty self-explanatory. Calculate the payments based on the following inputs. All right, well, I'll do that. Looks like it's a monthly payment, and I'm gonna make sure to use the functions dialog box. So I'm gonna come in here and type in PMT. We've done these in class a lot. So we'll hit go, we'll say okay, and that brings up the function arguments dialog box. Now for this first one, these are horizontal. So my rate is the value in B4. I'm doing monthly, so I'm going to divide that by 12. My number of periods is the value in C4. I'm going to multiply by that by 12 so that I get a positive output because this is a debit, so it would give me a negative result. I want a positive result. I'm going to just put a negative in front of the present value. That's my loan amount, and I get the result. Now, folks, I'm going to do one more for you. Yes, you could copy and paste down, but again, these are for you to practice. So in this case, my rate, I'm on row 6 now. My rate is going to be this divided by 12. My periods now is going to be C6 times 12. And then finally, the present value is going to be 59,555. 1117, so 3843, 1771. Let me go over the answers. 3843, 1771. I'm in good shape. Folks, I'm going to leave the rest of these for you to do, those monthly payments, but I'm going to go down and calculate some quarterly payments. So the difference here is I'm not going to multiply and divide by 12, but instead by 4. So I'll come over to more functions. There's the payment function for me. My rate in this case, let me bring this down here. There we go. My rate is going to be the value in B33. I'm going to divide that by how much? Four. That's correct. And my time in years, C33. I'm going to multiply that by four. My present value, I'm going to do a negative. And my loan amount in this case a33. So the only difference here is I'm doing by four. So I got 2,090, 60 cents. I'll come over here. There's the answer on my answer sheet, 2,090, 60. I can always look and reference the formula here if I'd like. I can always get back if I did something wrong instead of starting over again. I can come up here to the auto sum, more functions, and notice because I have an existing function in here, it opens the function arguments box for that function. So I could come in, I can look if I need to make some changes, I can hit OK and make sure I get the right answer. So there is the payment function. Again, take it slow, practice, 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 and you'll have this mastered. Take care.